what's up guys this is your girl RC welcome back to my channel and today's video is drive with me I have a couple errands to run and you're coming with me but first I noticed I haven't driven this car in about two weeks I think or three weeks so the windshield is super dirty so I'm gonna go to the gas station first to clean the windshield real quick and then we'll go to the pet store because I have two cats so I have to get some food for them. We're gonna chit chat on the way over there. And I also have to stop by the post office. I'm not sure what your situation is, but I'm waiting for some letter or some response from EDD, which is the unemployment. I think I've been to the post office once or twice this week. I can't even remember anymore. I can't keep track of the days or the stuff that I'm doing every day. But hopefully I got something in the, in the mail, so. But first I have to clean this windshield because it really bothers me. Okay, let's go, let's do this. just got to the post office hopefully I got that letter I'm not sure uh, I'm gonna close everything actually it's pretty warm today I'm gonna leave that open um, it's pretty warm today I'm shocked because I thought it was gonna be hot Saturday and Sunday today's Thursday but pretty hot okay let's go check praying I got that letter we'll see guys I just checked the post office and nope I did not get that letter it's kind of weird because I go to my account online so it pretty much said that my application was processed but I haven't received anything in the mail yet which is weird because it's been like I don't know I want to say two three weeks I think then I went to my account and it shows that like it looks like they already mailed that debit card but I haven't received anything so I called them and then because there's so many people uh, applying to unemployment I actually read something about 22 million people or something like that I hope you guys can hear me okay because the windows are open well, the, it's yeah, it's a little open. It's cracked. It's pretty hot today. I don't wanna. The AC it's not working that well in this car. So anyway, so I was telling you, I haven't received any um, any anything in the mail really. Any debit card, even though they say that they have mailed it. I called, but they put me on. No, they actually don't put me on hold. They just I mean it's like the automatic message. So you have to pretty much just wait on the line. So I do that and I remember there's been a couple of times that I've been on the phone for like an hour, two hours and, and then at the end, they just hang up. It kinda sucks, it's frustrating. So I also send online messages because that's the only way that you can contact them but they that demand is so high right now that it's really hard, I guess it takes about five close that it takes about five to seven weeks i mean five to seven days for them to get back to you um so they actually did and so they gave me a phone number to call because they said that they should have already mailed your your card but they are not the ones who mail them i guess there's a third party that does that so i called that number and same thing like the automatic message and then at the end they hang up and there's nobody really to talk to so I'm not sure 
what else to do I'm just I'm gonna do more research maybe there's something else out there that I'm not doing I'm not sure that part is just frustrating now my landlord is asking for rent money um, I lost my jobs I don't have any income coming in even with the government money I can't spend it because I mean I have to pay some more bills and but I can't spend the whole thing because I don't have any other money I don't I don't have any other income and I need food you know I mean we have kids I don't know it's it's already hard for like families or couples and can you imagine how hard it is for single moms I don't know if you're a single mom and you're watching this video maybe you can relate I mean it's it's tough and we have to make sure that we can provide for our kids you know so anyways so that's my chit chat of the day because it's just tough with the situation the pandemic and pretty much most people lost their jobs um, but we just have to hang in there. I mean, we can do the best that we can during these times. I know there were some places that were hiring. I applied also, but no luck there either. So we just have to keep going, you know? We can't really stress much on stuff that we can't really control. I was actually stressed out in the beginning of the whole thing. Now I feel way better. I'm not. I mean, yeah, I get worried time to time, but I'm not as stressed as I was in the beginning of this whole crisis. Um, just following the rules, waiting patiently. Um, the ones who know me, you know that I ride bikes. I do BMX, I'm a BMX rider. So that's driving me crazy, not being able to go and go to the bike park or go to the BMX tracks. But we just have to follow the rules because if we don't, then all this is gonna take longer, you know? Just gotta um, be productive, and, and that's what I'm trying to do every day, be productive. And I see a lot of people are doing everything that they didn't do in the year, or last year, or whatever. It's funny, but that's the way it is, you know? Okay, so I just got to PetSmart. I'm gonna get food for my cats. I actually got him some food like three weeks ago. I haven't been here two or three weeks ago. But now we ran out of cat food. So I need to get that. Um, I need wet food and dry food too. I have two cats. They're super cute. I'm not, I love my cats, but I don't consider myself a cat lady yet at least. I really want more to tell you the truth, but I think that'll be a little irresponsible for me at this time at least but I really I really want more but anyways let's get ready because I really don't feel like going to the stores I hate going to the stores see what happened really <sighs> okay check this out 
So I'm pretty bummed that I lost some footage due to the audio. That was my mistake on my part. I failed. So I get in a habit to check the footage right after I film to make sure that the audio and the actual footage it's fine and I can use it. Otherwise I have to film again. So apparently what happened here, I actually checked just like I usually do. So what had happened was <laughs> that I checked. So the first part, the first few seconds sounded okay. I mean, it just, it was fine because I could hear everything I was saying. So I figured, okay, so everything else should be fine. And so I stopped it. Apparently it was not okay because the rest of the, the audio was not good. You can't even hear anything. I didn't check the whole footage, like that clip, and that was my error. That was my mistake. It sucks though, but it's done. So for this video, I had to use my GoPro, and the GoPro has three microphones. So apparently the way I was holding it, I covered all three microphones. How? That's just the way I held it that time. I know, I suck. But you know what? We learn every day. This is a good lesson. I guess I was pretty complacent and I failed. Okay, so I'm gonna go over this clip um, and I'm gonna tell you what I was actually talking about there because I don't wanna delete the footage, okay? Okay, so number one. So the first part of the clip, I was actually talking about, you know, how uh, there are different types of YouTube videos and how people are obsessed with certain videos. You know, other videos like makeup tutorials, cooking, um, organizing, blah, blah, blah. So in my case, I actually love the drive with me videos. I feel like in this kind of videos, you can chit chat, you can do live talks and just be yourself. I really enjoy watching those videos. I mean, you can talk about anything and everything. You're in the car, you can be yourself. Um, especially as a single mom, talking to older friends, older single moms. And I know we all can relate this way because I feel like the drive with me videos are like our cars are our sanctuary that's like our me time that's when we can think we can relax we can breathe we can even meditate i came to the conclusion that that's the place to be especially for us single moms or any other moms actually because moms are always busy uh, we're doing a lot 24 7. so that's the place to be time to time Another reason why I like the drive with me videos, it's because me personally, I already talk to myself. Like I talk to myself on a daily basis. I'm kind of crazy. My, my kids, sometimes they come and they're like, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? There's nobody here but you. But you. So in my case, it's actually kind of perfect because I just put the camera in front of me and I can have a conversation with you guys. But I'm on myself, so it's just kind of perfect for me. It just works out perfect. And I feel less crazy too. And here, this last part, I talk about how I have met uh, recently new friends, new people that are YouTubers, that are video creators, content creators, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty happy and stoked that I've met all these new people. Um, they are so inspiring they um they're the real deal so you can i mean relate and talk and share your experiences because we are kind of going through the same journey right now so it's kind of cool to be able to chat and and just have a, a a nice conversation with people that understand you and that are going through the same thing so cool to have met all these small youtubers because they do appreciate and understand the hard work and when I say YouTuber versus video creator or content creator, which basically is the same thing, but to me, YouTuber is 
for if it's um, young people better I don't know I'm older I'm in my 40s I mean if you are a teenager hey great you're a, a true you're like the real youtuber I'm older and even though we're still doing the same thing I just feel like video creator or content creator just fits better because our age group I don't know we're still youtubers at the end we are creating content we are posting our content and everything that comes with it I believe I repeat myself about meeting these new people these new small youtubers later in my video so that being said I'm still a small youtuber and probably an extra small youtuber because I'm just starting in this journey I'm posting more videos but it takes time it takes a lot of work um, but I'm gonna continue posting videos and continue to work hard to grow my channel and I love it I absolutely love it I could have just deleted the whole footage with no audio but you know what I was actually really into that conversation I was feeling it so I was like why not so I thought you know what here here's the explanation here's what I was talking about so but no worries i'm gonna make more drive with me videos and next time i'll make sure the audio is on point and i have no issues all right and now i'll let you watch the rest of the video and just looking at myself right here oof, look i need to get some sun i need to get some color on my on my chest i have met some um new people lately it's just Cool to to feel the good vibes, the positive vibes, and that's actually I'm really glad that I met all these new people, all their video creators. It's pretty um, it, it keeps me motivated to keep doing this this stuff, and um, so I'm gonna keep doing it because I actually enjoy it. It's a lot of work, though. A lot of people don't think that it's work, but it's a lot of editing hours, a lot of. Uh, a lot of planning, a lot of research. It's hard work. Now I have a better understanding of the full-time YouTubers. I mean, it's, it's hard work. It's super fun. If you enjoy doing this kind of stuff, it's fun, but it's definitely hard work though. Okay, everyone, I just got home. I'm gonna park the car. I'm gonna grab my stuff and I'm gonna head home so I can cook and just do the everyday thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to get to know you even more. If you wanna watch a specific video, make sure to leave your comments below. Make sure to hit that like button, share the video, and make sure to subscribe. Tell your neighbors, your friends, your family, your mom, your dad, everybody to go subscribe to my channel, all right? See you in the next video. Peace.